Hey beauties, welcome back to BLB Halloween. Today we're going to beat that face into this girly yet classic Beetlejuice look for Halloween. This is one of the best movies of all time. It's so iconic, so I had to do my own twist on this look. And if you love it, be sure you smash that subscribe button right now. And let's jump right into this Beetlejuice tutorial. So to start this look out, you're going to want to block out those brows because we're going to be drawing in a new shape. And to block them out, I'm just using a glue stick and then covering them up with some concealer to lock them away so we don't see them at all. We want them to be completely sealed away. And then we're going to be priming our skin. I always prime my skin before any look because I don't want any of this makeup getting into my pores. For our base, we're going to go with a classic ghostly white base like Beetlejuice. We're going to be using a white cream paint to do this, and we're just going to spread this all over the face and really buff it into the skin so we get a nice porcelain finish. You want it to be pretty flawless. Next, we're going to go in and use a white powder over those brows just to make sure that none of that darkness is showing and we have a really nice canvas to work off of next for the brows. We're going to be using a black water-activated paint, and if you've watched the movie Beetlejuice, you've seen the snake in the movie. I wanted to make my brows look like the snake, and I curved them the same way and sort of made them look pretty reminiscent of that character in the movie, and then highlighted around them using green and purple and neon body paint just to give it a nice Beetlejuice twist. I went with the classic color story of Beetlejuice, the purples, greens, blacks, grays, and just lots of patchiness here and there for this look. So I smoked out one of my eyes with purple eyeshadow and I went all around the eye. And his look in the movie is pretty rough, it is pretty gross, so I wanted to make this really, really glam, but still have that look going on. That's sort of classic. So I went under the eyes with that purple and really hollowed them out. And then on the other eye, I went in with the neon green just to add a really pop of like brightness and quirkiness to this look. Beetlejuice is pretty, he's pretty crazy, so I wanted to make sure that I did him justice with this look. And you want to go in and blend everything out using your foundation brush because it's going to soften up all those edges. I'm going to be using silver glitter on the lids right now, and you don't have to be pretty precise about this at all. I just pretty much spread it all over the eye, and I sort of let it trickle down over the face as well. Just for a nice glittery effect. You want to dab that right in. And this is by Violet Voss in the shade Venus. It's a really pretty nice sort of holographic silver glitter. I'm going to be using that same green eyeshadow I used on my eye. I'm going to be using it to contour my face. Beetlejuice is a ghost, but he has a lot of different colors going on around his face. He looks pretty, he looks pretty nasty, honestly. He's got moss, grass, a lot of green patches going on, purple veins, lots of stuff like that. So you want to make sure your skin is predominantly contoured with green. And we're going to go ahead and highlight the face using an iridescent purple highlighter. You want to make sure that you really hit the tops of those cheekbones, and you can brush this right up into the eyeshadow as well. And you're going to go ahead and dust that on the chin as well, and just around the face to bring some light into this look. We're going to be definitely going in with a black eyeliner to give that grungy effect on the eyes. And then to smoke that out, I'm just going to go in with a black eyeshadow and really bring this down under the eyes to give that same look that Beetlejuice has in the movie. He's got a lot of black contrast going around, around his eyes and just around his face in general. So we want to make sure that we give that grungy look. And here I'm going to take more of that black eyeshadow and I'm going to use this to really dirty up the face and enhance that contour. And I'm just going to go right up against the green and shade this in. I'm going to be applying some stones to the look. I did want to give this a really glam effect, like if Beetlejuice was a girl. So I want to make sure that this is super glitzy, shiny, really pretty, and kind of avant-garde in a way. So I stuck these all around the face just in mismatched places to give that quirky effect. I'm using some glitter on the brows and just around the eyes to really make this shine. And as you can see, I'm not really placing it in anywhere specific. I'm just putting it around. I wanted to add some chunky glitter just all around the face. So I'm going to be using this predominantly right in the corners of my eyes. And I wanted to really make this super chunky. So I used very, very thick glitter for this so it would shine when I kind of looked to the side. I popped on some feather lashes and then just enhanced that green eyeshadow a bit more under the eyes and also in the crease. I decided I wanted to add some black liner to this, so I just sealed that lash band in with some jet black liner. And then for lips, I'm going to be using a black liquid lipstick. And this is going to dry down matte so we can actually put a shadow over it next. So here I'm going to be using a neon green eyeshadow, and I'm just going to use this on the corner of the lips as if this moss is kind of growing over the lip and then down my face. Kind of gives the same look that Beetlejuice has in the movie. It's really dead, very... Very, 
unique dead look. It's it's really cool. So I wanted to make sure I give this iconic touch to the look by just adding in that green around the mouth and then adding in some glitter also around the mouth. Here I'm going to be cutting that crease a little bit to give more of a glam effect to this look. I'm just using a black eyeshadow right into the crease using a very thin brush to pack it in. Next I'm going to be coating my body in the white cream paint we used on our face. Because Beetlejuice is really, really pale, he is a ghost, so you have to have really, really, really pale skin. Go in with this, and you can use this around your face as well to make everything a little bit more pale. Just wanted to enhance that jawline a little bit, so here I'm just applying it around the mouth. And to the forehead, of course. And here I'm going to be going in creating these patches around my chest. Very similar to what you see in the movie that Beetlejuice has going on. They're definitely more intense. And they're a lot more gross. These are definitely more glam. And I'm just using green eyeshadow and stippling this in different areas of my face and chest to get this effect. So you want to go in with light green, darker green, and just kind of patch this out. Make sure you're stippling that in. You can go in with an angled brush and a black eyeshadow to really deepen up those areas, applying it into the center of the patches and blending out using a larger brush. And here I'm just enhancing that mouth area using the green and then applying a little bit more glitter to that because we need lots of glitter for this look. And I'm trailing it down my mouth as if it's kind of falling out of my mouth. And here I'm going to be using that green eyeshadow a little bit more around the face to deepen it up. And this is the dark green, so you want to really intensify this look. And to dirty up the skin, I am using the black eyeshadow on a really fluffy brush. And this is going to create a lot of patchiness in the look, which is what we want. And you want to concentrate this towards the front of your chest depending on what you're wearing because it will show more that way. And I popped on my wig. And in the movie, he does have some green going on in the hair. His hair looks really, really dirty. So you want to make sure that you apply some green, black shadow to the roots of the wig. And you can go as crazy with this as you want or as light-handed as you want. So I wanted to do a classic hair for this. Very reminiscent of what his hair looks like in the movie. Here I'm using some glitter on those patches to really shine it out, make it look a little bit wet under the light. And then I'm popping on my tie, yes! And the look is almost complete, guys! Pop in those contacts. I decided to go with white because it gives a more creepy Halloween effect. And then I just used a little bit more of that cream paint just to highlight around the face and create some patchiness. You can always do your touch-ups right after the look is done. And there you go, guys. Here's my puppy, Luca, saying hi to you guys. I hope you all love this Beetlejuice look. I absolutely love this movie. It is so, so cool. One of the best Halloween movies ever, movies in general. And I hope you all love my take on this classic look. If you did, be sure you like this video, subscribe for more, smash that sub button right now, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. Thank you guys for tuning in to VLB Halloween once again, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Peace out.